Okay, it's starting to smoke. Hey everyone, today I have my 1.4 watt burning laser. I'm going to be seeing if you could actually pop a car tire by shining a laser at it. So this thing is pretty cool. It can just light stuff on fire just by shining the light at it. <laughs> okay, so I have a brand new car tire here. I'm gonna shine the laser at the tire and see if it's actually possible to pop it. So we'll try two different tests. First, we'll try it with the tire spinning as if the car's driving and you're trying to pop it by shining the laser at it. Let's see if that's possible. And then we'll try it with the car tire just standing still like this and just sit the laser pointer on it and let it try to burn a hole straight through it and see if it pops. Okay, first we're going to be spinning the tire. My laser on it. So you can see when it stopped, it starts to smoke almost immediately. But let's start to move it. You can see even with just slow movements like this, it's not burning through the tire. Not even coming close. So I'm almost certain that we're not going to get a hole through the tire when it's moving like this. Okay, so now let's see what happens. The side wall is the thinnest spot of the tire. So let's see what happens when we leave the laser on it. Okay, three, two, one. Okay, it's starting to smoke. Let's zoom in on this and see what we see. Uh-oh, I'm getting nervous. Okay, I really smell burning tire now. So we'll let it sit here for a few minutes and see if it pops. Okay, so a quick timeout while filming this. So this image is taken with my Lumix GH5 4K camera, pretty nice camera. And you can see that the laser light looks pretty normal. But now look at it filmed with my iPhone here. This looks like it's like a fake line here. This is weird. Okay, this is weird. This totally looks like a fake beam here. <laughs> this is a real laser beam. But look, it looks like it's drawn in. Filming from my iPhone here. <laughs> Looks like a drawn in beam here, but it's not. Look. <laughs> this looks like some bad editing or something. Now, the reason I think this is happening is because cameras, in order to save space, they kind of, any area that looks like it's the same color, they'll group it as one individual color. But it looks like with the iPhone, it does it a lot more than with a nicer camera. The nicer camera can differentiate even tiny little colors, but the iPhone just groups it all as one individual color. Now this is one individual specific wavelength coming out of here, but because there's little dust particles in the air, you can see the beam. And so up close, you should be able to see these tiny little particles in the air. Okay, it's been a while now. Let me turn this off and check it out. Okay, so this is actually where the laser was and it was smoking there, but I don't see any mark whatsoever. It's hot, but there's no mark, no burn mark at all. So it definitely wasn't burning through the sidewall of the tire. So even this is 1.4 watts, which is a lot of watts for a laser, and it can burn things. The mass of the tire is just so much compared to the heat of the laser that it's just not able to burn through it. Okay, so it looks like we weren't actually able to pop the tire just using a burning laser. Now it's not that surprising because in an earlier video, I actually drove over hot lava with this tire and it also didn't pop. So these tires are meant to stand up to a lot of beating and also a lot of heat. In general, rubber by itself doesn't even melt. It only burns. So basically you're not gonna get any melting of the tire, but only burning. So in order to pop it, it would have to burn directly through it. But that tiny little area just wasn't enough. The tire was continually stealing the heat from it. And so it couldn't get hot enough to burn directly through it, turn it into ashes and make it pop. 
So if you want to stop somebody in a high speed chase, don't count on using a burning laser to stop them. All right, thanks for watching another episode of the Action Lab. I hope you liked it. Please consider subscribing if you haven't subscribed yet and check out theactionlab.com to see the Action Lab subscription box. In one of them, you can get your very own vacuum chamber and in another one, you can get your very own self-pouring fluid. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.